Welcome to the first chapter of our video tutorial series, guiding you through the utilization of the Crossroad Generator tool for Unreal Engine 5. In this first chapter, we delve into the fundamental aspects and functionalities of the Crossroad Generator. The Crossroad Generator, functioning as a blueprint-based actor in Unreal Engine, offers a range of features to enhance and accelerate your road building process. With just a few clicks, you can effortlessly create a complex road system that would typically require hours of manual placement of individual assets in your scene. Let's begin by creating a new level for a fresh start. To ensure everything runs smoothly, it's essential to set up our project correctly. First, go to Project Settings and enable Virtual Texture Support to ensure all textures display accurately. Next, navigate to the Plugin Settings, find the Geometry script in the Plugin menu, enable it and do not forget to restart the editor. Don't skip these initial steps, they're crucial to ensuring everything works properly. Within the main project folder, head to the Blueprint directory located within the Meshes folder. In this section, you'll find two Blueprint actors. To start your work, simply drag and drop the Crossroad Generator Blueprint into the scene. Within the Crossroad Generator menu, you can set two parameters, Crossroad Type and Lane Type. By manipulating these parameters in combination, you can select the specific crossroad shape that best suits your preferences. In total, you have the flexibility to select from 12 distinct variations of crossroad shapes. This diverse range empowers you to construct an extensive array of road structures, limited only by your imagination. Additionally, for each crossroad type, you can enhance your design by incorporating additional modules such as sidewalks, road markings, or traffic lights. Simply enable these features in the Crossroad Generator menu. These modules come preloaded with multiple mesh variations, providing you with the tools to fine-tune the final aesthetic of your project. Feel free to modify the Crossroad type and lane type at any point during the process. The system seamlessly adjusts everything automatically, requiring no additional manual interventions. Each module comes equipped with its own customizable settings, allowing you to fine-tune various parameters. For instance, within the sidewalk settings, you gain the capability to adjust the local positions and rotations of the module, providing a hands-on approach when necessary. Furthermore, enabling the Variations option in the menu unlocks the ability to switch between mesh variations for the sidewalk. The Variation Distribution parameter aids in selecting random mesh variations, offering a dynamic touch to your design. If needed, you can override the material on the mesh by enabling this option in the menu. The last three parameters, mesh collisions, shadow casting, and culling distance, grant you the ability to optimize performance and streamline draw calls in your project. It's worth noting that all these parameters can be configured independently for each module. For further customization of this blueprint, delve into the advanced settings sections within each module's menu. Here, you have the option to replace the existing presets with your own meshes, tailoring the blueprint to your specific requirements. Alternatively, if you prefer more direct approach, you can edit the construction script directly. Now, let's explore the settings for the traffic light module. Each crossroad type comes with preloaded and customizable traffic light modules that automatically adapt based on your chosen crossroad type. Thanks to the array based system, you can independently edit each traffic light. For added convenience, the visualization of traffic light array numbers makes the editing process more straightforward, allowing you to easily identify and modify specific elements within the array. This feature enhances the ease and precision of customizing your traffic light configurations. Within each array, adding or removing additional traffic light modules is a breeze through the subarray menu. The module comes equipped with nine distinct mesh variations, giving you the flexibility to set different variations for each traffic light array. Additionally, if needed, you can fine-tune the local position and rotation of each traffic light by editing the transform parameters. Now, consider a scenario where your crossroad is situated on a steep hill, necessitating that the traffic light poles remain vertical at all times. 
To address this, activate the lock vertical slope parameter. Regardless of the tilt of your crossroad, this feature ensures that the traffic lights always maintain a vertical orientation, proving to be particularly useful when dealing with uneven terrain. Moreover, you have the option to override materials, enable or disable collisions and shadows or adjust the culling distance for the traffic light modules. For additional customization, explore the advanced settings section, allowing you to replace the preloaded meshes with your own creations. The final module setting to cover in this video chapter is the light settings section. With these settings, you gain control over the spotlights connected to the lamp modules on the traffic light power poles. Within this configuration, you can manage the spotlight cone angle, light intensity, light attenuation radius, or establish a light profile using IES textures. Additionally, you have the ability to set the light temperature or color if necessary. The last parameter allows for the enabling or disabling of casting shadows. Furthermore, you have the option to globally enable or disable the lights for the entire crossroad by toggling the lights module. These parameters collectively provide you with comprehensive control over the lighting aspects across the entire crossroad, allowing for seamless adjustments and customization according to your project requirements. Thank you for watching the first chapter video tutorial on the basic features of the Crossroad Generator tool. To delve deeper into its capabilities, I encourage you to explore all the tutorials available on our YouTube channel. These tutorials provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to use these assets into your projects. If you're seeking to elevate your environment and create stunning scenes, the Crossroad Generator for Unreal Engine is an indispensable tool. You can find it on the Unreal Marketplace, and the link is available in the video description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to render your tail with us.